night when the alarm goes off around half past five in the morning, it's still dark. I'd struggle to get out of bed on any other day if I had to go to work or do something else, but I don't know, fishing just, it, it gives you this energy. And I get pretty excited the night before. Uh, all the rods are all packed, they're all ready to roll. Gear's all been set out, so there's nothing better than hearing the alarm go off. And you walk down, you jump on your boat, it's still dark. It's that freedom, it's, it's that feeling of, and that sense of, you know, you're back within nature. Dad rang us, he had the brains in the family and guided us to play cricket and just fell in love with it. And to me, it was my whole life growing up. It was what I ever wanted to do, you know, after school, before school, during school, I was always thinking about cricket. When you think about what I've achieved, I, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would have played, you know, close to 13 years for Australia. Um, you know, when you get the chance to represent your country, it's, it's the, the biggest honour. It, it's such a special feeling to walk out wearing that baggy green cap. But I loved every single moment of it, and uh, I've got to find something now to fill that void of not walking out in front of 100,000 people. Maybe that's where fishing comes into play. Whilst I've been playing cricket, and I guess that's been my living, to me fishing has always been my passion. And I first learned to fish very, very early down the south coast of Kiama and I uh, just fell in love with it. As cricket went on and the, the stresses that you get from playing in front of crowds, and it allowed me to take my mind off the game and just really chill out and that's what I love about fishing. You can be anywhere in the world, you can find like a little stream somewhere, you can be out in the middle of the ocean and to me it's just pure bliss. You know, you've got no one around you, you're not worrying about somebody looking over your shoulder, you're not worrying about doing training or going to a media conference. To me, it's a great outlet and it's a great way just to chill out and just relax. This is how to get a dolly. I think my ritual or superstition or whatever you might call it, I certainly make sure there's no bananas on the boat. I've got a little bit of a, a theory about that. I do like to fish barefoot unless it's freezing cold out there. Uh, I like to feel like I'm close to the boat, but just preparation I think, and I think that's where cricket has definitely helped my fishing and vice versa. I've always made sure in terms of cricket I've always been prepared, I've always done the work. It's the same with fishing. If you give yourself every opportunity, to me, I don't leave home unless I've got my terrors, you know, I'll make sure that I've got the right gear. It's not just being out there and fluking that fish, it's a preparation that goes into it. So that's what I love about fishing. Slip it all, suckers. Yep. It's great when you fish by yourself, but it's, it's you know it's even better when you can share it with a close mate. And Dom's my best mate, has been now for a long, long time. Sometimes I like to go and catch those uh, those brim and, and, and some sort of flat that type of stuff, whereas I'm more into the sort of action fish, the kings and and the yellowtail, all that type of stuff. And um, you know, making sure that you know you get the right bait, making sure that you you know you're out there having a crack, but. The thing about Dom, he, he's, he's got a lot of patience, um, he's a great fisherman and it's just great, you know, you're out there and you're sharing some memories and yeah, it's, it's just great catching up with your mate and, and having a fish and telling a few stories. Look at the claret coming out of him. <laughs> Here he goes again, what do you Quite legal. That's it. 
maybe, uh, you know, you always, you always tend to fish better when there's no cameras around. That one that got away, uh, as you can probably see, I hooked up, I had an epic run, peeling line off, uh, I thought I was going to get spooled at one stage, but uh, unfortunately it snapped me off and that's fishing, that's, that's exactly why you come back the next day and try and do it again. I've been lucky with cricket, I've travelled around the world, I've, I've played all over the subcontinent, but I don't know, there's something about coming back home to Sydney, you know, when you fly in and you see the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House, certainly when you take a rod and reel out, hop in your boat and go to Sydney Harbour, um, which I think is the best place in the world, I'm biased of course, but we're pretty blessed I think.